Okay, great morning. Oh, this morning I pulled um, cards from two decks about Trump's uh, mental health. And I talked about this before when he's in the court. You know, he, he just says he's resting his eyes, but uh, no. Um, what's going on with him is that he has such a fantasy thing about himself that he cannot hear the truth. He just consciously, he just shuts down. Shuts down so he doesn't have to hear it. Um, so again, this reading yet again uh, confirms that. And um, so what I had above it is his fantasy, the dark fantasy, the illusion the delusion that he wants to tell himself that he is juggling along the way. What's crossing it is his narcissism, okay? That this is what he does, and he is, he is listening and married to these conversations. So when they are telling the truth, versus his fantasy, his illusion and delusion. He wants to juggle it, and we'll see with the other ones, um, also say that he uh, tempers this by basically going unconscious. So what I got with my other deck was above it, when he's facing this loss, the foundation is he what distances himself from it. Um, by what? What's crossing it is tempering. Tempering it. He tempers it. He walks away from it. When there is this eating away by what somebody is saying. So to eat away at what somebody is saying when it's facing a loss when he can't convince himself he's the most fabulous, the best, you know, uh, then he distances himself by tempering this, and the tempering is the balance, he closes down. He absolutely, his consciousness closes down and um, because he can't hear the truth. He cannot take the truth. So that's what happens to Donald. He, he goes out. Now, don't forget, when he was young, they would go to church, Norman Vincent Peel Church, which is about creating this thing of um, prosperity, okay, this kind of prosperity, and convincing yourself of it but he has used this Norman Vincent Peale things um, in a really skewed, skewed way, okay? Now, I saw again, I have seen him for a while. It's so good to see him again, um, Telltale Tarot. If you haven't been over there, uh, definitely go check him out again. Um, um, he's over there in England, and uh, very good. He, he also read on this today, and the same thing. His background, um, you know, growing up was you're not worth anything unless you are productive, okay? Um, so he didn't have the right kind of love. He didn't have support. It was all transactional, basically, and that's the way he's been with his kids. Anybody that comes into his realm and his aura, it's all transactional. What can you do for me? Um, there's no loyalty, no love, no balance there. And so, uh, yeah, go check out uh, Telltale Tarot and... Um, it's, uh, you might want to watch it today, 45's Mental State. And then a thank you for everybody that's subscribed there. You know, it's, it's good to see him there. And Alfie, his dog, reminds me of Mr. Max. Um, 
who you know I lost last year. I lost Mr. Max. You know, so it's good to see Alfie sitting there. <laughs> I like Alfie. Um, so anyway, that's what I got on Trump, Trump's mental health. But as long as we're doing that, let's go ahead. I'm going to do the cards again here. This real short read way that I do. This overview of it. Uh, I'm going to sit here and shuffle the cards here real quick. And let's look at Biden. Biden's mental health. Let's look at Biden's mental health. What's going on with Biden? You know, because we've got the MAGA crowd who continues to say that Biden's the one that can't string two sentences together, that he's, you know, fading fast, and it's just Biden is so sharp compared to Trump, it's unbelievable. And yet they keep echoing this thing that Biden is just so lost. Okay, <laughs> but let's look at Biden's mental health. So above it, we have about his message, the actions, the things that he's doing. Um, when it comes to the things that he doesn't like that are being presented, uh, what's crossing it is his wanting to take action, that he is moving forward. He is doing action as much as he can. Um, He's looking at the things being sacrificed uh, when it comes to the future. So this is somebody that's cognitively uh, there. He can see what's going on. He's putting out messages. He's wanting to move stuff forward, but he sees things being sacrificed when it comes to the future because of what he's dealing with with these Republican MAGA people. Now, in the House, again, the other day, um, they, they're actually saying that poor Trump is being railroaded. And when the Democrats bring up that he's in this trials, oh, you can't do that. You can't say that. Strike that from the record. So unless you're in the House, and you're praising Trump or saying how, you know, he, everything was stolen from him and he's a poor victim, etc. That you can put up in the house, but you're not allowed to give actual facts. Unbelievable. So let's go ahead and see what can you tell me about what's going on in the house now? Uh, because it's just insane you have the guy up there, he doesn't know what's going on. Somebody has to hand him this thing and he, that they're looking at it, reading it word for word as to um, how to conduct the session. Unbelievable. I don't know who this, this guy is they have up there, but he's got no idea what he's doing. They have to keep him. Now, I don't know who is uh, writing that for him. So who's behind the scenes is actually conducting it? Because it's not this guy. This guy literally gets handed the paper and sits there like this reading every word, which half the time he can't even make out the words. So what's going on in the house with this? We have the secrets. Yeah, you can't tell the truth. You can't say what's actually happening uh, underneath of it. The sage, the sage advice, those that know what they're talking about, they want to keep that hidden. Okay, what's crossing it is, yeah, of course, what Trump wants them to say, the merchant, what he's selling to them. Okay, so they are totally under the thumb of Trump. These dark dramas are the key, okay? So the house now, what it's saying is those that are the foundation that want to give the sage advice, they keep that hushed, okay? 
because Trump and the Magatonians, okay, don't like that dark, you know, the dark things that are actually going on that are key. They're only going to put out and allow to be put out what Trump's wish-fulfilling card is. If it's not what Trump wants, we're going to hide it. When it comes to the sage, for those that know, we're not going to let it see the light of day. That's pretty pathetic. So let's look and see. Would this change if the Democrats take the House? How would this change if Democrats take the House in the next election? Let's give these a ruffle shuffle. How would the House change if Democrats take the House in this next election? So let's see what we have. So above it, going into it, we have, yeah, this painful thing that we've been dealing with mentally, physically. This has just been painful, and they want to end that. There's going to be an end when it comes to that. What's crossing it is, you know, all the fishtails and the drama and things that we've been fed uh, with the repugly ugly Magatonian house. There's going to be fireworks. There's going to be, <laughs> yeah, uh, when it comes to these dark dramas. So they want to end these dark dramas, this explosive, uh, you know, jungle type situation that we've had in the house when it comes to what they're being fed. The storylines that they are being fed, um, they've had enough of it, I had enough of it, and so the foundation is putting an end to this and to get things um, straightened out and more balanced, okay, because they have just said this, uh, enough of enough, this has been a painful part and we're not going to entertain the fish tales anymore. <laughs> we're just not, okay? So, um, yeah, that will be fabulous. Now, I want to pull and look at um, what is going to happen um, with Trump when it comes to the um, the judgment in the court, okay, what is going to happen with Trump when it comes to the jury coming back and and uh, what what's going to happen with that? Let's see if we get some something we can make heads or tails of. So going into it, above it, we have this new, new thing coming down, new opportunity, new way, the path forward, what's going to happen with the path forward uh, in this grounded um, way. Oh, I need to go what's under it. Um, and under that is the strength of looking at this new direction and what's crossing it is the struggle the struggle about what to do with it what to do with him because we need to go forward we can't focus on the past with this when it comes to Trump so it looks like you know the judge is going to have a difficult time you know, how to go forward with this new thing. He knows there's going to be crossing it, this struggle and the drama with the Magatonians uh, when it comes to the strength of this decision. And he's just got to look forward when it comes to figuring out what they're going to do with 45, okay? So we'll have to see. 
it's not really telling me if he's going to jail, if he's what, what's going to happen with him, but it's going to be something that the judge is going to have to struggle with a bit um, when it comes to figuring this out. Okay, so we'll have to see. Okay, what else is going on? What else is going on? Oh, I want to ask. Now, Trump went to New York to kind of, I think it's like the Barrio area type thing. So how did that speech go? You know, he did the same old tired, stale thing about the snake and the, you know, and just rambling about a bunch of crap. So let's see what we have. So above it, we have holding on. He was holding on when it comes to um, his emotional stuff that he's got when it comes to, as well, um, Biden with what Biden's doing, the DOJ, all of that, uh, what's crossing it is, you know, giving out more of the stuff that he's just really clinging to. Same, same tired speeches of drama uh, when it comes to the people. That was key. So it's just, you know, the same stuff he's regurgitating, the same stuff that he's hanging on to when it comes to Biden, when it comes to the Justice Department, when it comes to all of that drama, um, that that's what they got. And, um, you know, the key of what he was saying. So it was just nothing new, just regurgitating the same old crap. And so how did it affect the people? Let's go ahead and pull cards on that. How did this affect the people there? What did they think about his speech? Because these were mainly uh, Magatonians there, you know, that had come out to that. But it looked like at that rally that they were leaving really pretty quickly. You know, of course, he wanted to say it was a huge crowd. Nowhere near what he was saying that it was, as usual fantasy island this guy lives in. But what did the people there think of his, how did it affect them, his rally? Um, we have the sage advice, the wisdom, and um, what, now I'm not sure who the woman is that's holding on to that. Let's see if we get what's crossing, if we can figure out, oh, Trump. What's crossing it is Trump. It's about the direction and the fireworks and drama. So I think it would just, uh, that the women were holding on to this and some of them again see him as some sort of a sage thing. So there are those, some of those there that were really buying into it. Um, I think the foundation, though, some of it is the women listening to hear what direction he was going to say and the fireworks, what was going on with Trump and his narcissism, maybe looking to see just what he was going to say concerning women. Um, that's what it looks like with this. The direction, fireworks, uh, you know, is this guy going to, because he's even kind of talking about um, coming up to the point about women and uh, being able to get um, supplies for, uh, how do I want to say it, um, contraceptive things and stuff, stopping contraceptives. So I think some of the women there were looking to see if he was going to say anything about that, um, if he was going to broach that at all about women's reproductive rights, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's what I'm getting from there. So on that note, I'm going to leave that here, and we'll see you online.